As Russian President Vladimir Putin celebrated his 72nd birthday on October 7, Moscow residents have left sarcastic graffiti in the street, congratulating Putin in their own way. A video posted on local Telegram channels showed three's graffiti painted on the walls in an unknown location in the capital Moscow. May your hands be broken, one of the graffiti reads. Happy birthday. May your legs stop working, reads another one. Happy birthday. May your ass explode, yet another graffiti reads. All three graffiti are in Russian. The author of the graffiti is unknown. Meanwhile, Putin received birthday greetings from his allies, such as Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, Chechen leader and warlord Ramzan Kadyrov, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Putin's birthday was also in the center of media's attention. God save the Tsar, wrote ultranationalist Russian ideologue Alexander Dugin. A Russian court on Monday sentenced a 72-year-old American to nearly seven years in prison for fighting as a mercenary in Ukraine. Prosecutors said Stephen Hubbard signed a contract with the Ukrainian military after Russia sent troops into Ukraine in February 2022 and he fought alongside them until being captured two months later. He was sentenced to six years and ten months in a general security prison. Prosecutors had called for a sentence of seven years in a maximum security prison. Hubbard, from the state of Michigan, is the first American known to have been convicted for fighting as a mercenary in the Ukrainian conflict. The charges carried a potential sentence of 15 years, but prosecutors asked that his age be taken into account and that he had admitted guilt, Russian news reports said. Arrests of Americans have become increasingly common in Russia in recent years. Concern has risen that Russia could be targeting U.S. nationals for arrest to use later as bargaining chips in talks to bring back Russians convicted of crimes in the U.S. and Europe. The U.S. and Russia in August completed their largest prisoner swap in post-Soviet history, a deal involving 24 people, many months of negotiations and concessions from other European countries, which released Russians in their custody as part of the exchange. Several U.S. citizens remain behind bars in Russia following the swap. Kherson authorities say four Russian glide bombs struck civilian infrastructure in the Ukrainian city on Monday morning, injuring 18 civilians. A three-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl were among the injured, sustaining leg injuries in the attack. 
The Kherson Regional Military Administration said a total of four guided aerial bombs were dropped on the city, damaging residential buildings in the city center. One of the bombs also hit a previously destroyed school, regional authorities reported. Бригадам екстреної медичної допомоги до закладу було госпіталізовано двох дітей трьох та чотирьох років, які отримали поранення внаслідок обстрілу. Діти отримали міновибухову травму, скалкове поранення нижніх кінцівок, стан дітей середнього ступеню важкості, лікарі надають необхідну медичну допомогу. Ми знаходилися вдома, різко прозвучав мощний цей. Сначала один прилет, начал выносить полностью все окна. Вот, детьми сразу на трое детей маленьких начали убегать с комнаты. Развучал второй взрыв. Посыпалось все. У нас 20 рятувальників, я говорю, зараз вийшов.